everybody. This is Eric Stark with Radio Arizona RV. Check out our podcast at RadioArizonaRV.com. It's available on Apple, iTunes, Google Play, just about anywhere you can get an i or a podcast. It's available there. So today we're going to be talking about the Energizer Arc Five, and you see the pink bunny, right? So this is made by Energizer, the same company that makes the batteries. The same company has been known for quality products for decades now. So it's made by Energizer. So what's an ARC-5? It is a portable power station. So it's portable because it's lightweight, it's small, compact, has a lithium ion battery inside of it. But it also has a 110 volt outlet on here. And it's pure sine wave, so it's got nice clean power. Then if we go over here, we have the 12 volts and a couple different adapters for 12 volts. And it also has USB ports for charging things like your phones, your tablets, whatever can charge off a USB port, you can plug in here and charge up. Now to do a cell phone, for example, 45 times, charge up a cell phone 45 times. And then it has an input here for charging from three different sources, which we'll get to in just a moment here. It has an LED light here with three different brightnesses. Works real nice on the LED light, it hardly even draws any power too. And of course we got the, the digital readout here on the screen where you can see what's happening with it, how much time is left, where the charge is. So it's nice, lightweight, easy to carry, got a nice handle on the top, makes it easy to just grip, carry, the handle's not gonna break, nice room for your hand, nice quality product. So the ARC-5 was designed by Energizer to bring portable power to an affordable level and up the ante on the quality of it. There's other companies like Goal Zero, they make the Yeti, there's the Jackery, but this is surpasses them. Has more output, better quality, it's lighter, so it's a nice product and it's $499. So it's a good price. So this this Arc 5 will power up many different things, but let's get into the charging first. What how do you charge it? Well, first off, it comes with an adapter for 110 volts. Looks just like a regular laptop charger type system. Plugs right into it, plugs into the wall, charges it up, seven hours. Then you have the car adapter, regular car in, plugs into your outlet in your car, 12 volt outlet, commonly known as a cigarette outlet. And this plugs right into the jacker or the ARC-5 right here. Charges it up, seven hours. Then you have solar. Plugs into the ARC-5 right here. Then you have the MC4 connectors, which these are an everyday type connector. You can get them on Amazon. You know, they're just, they're a few dollars each and they're readily available. So if with this, you can connect any solar panel that you might already have, anything from 60 to 200 watts. Now ARC-5 is gonna be coming out with solar panels pretty quick, but we don't know the exact date, but they are working on it but they'll be portable, but so in the meantime, or if you just want to use your own, if you have a solar panel, you just plug this in, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have my own panel, just going to cut off the end and hook it up to MC4 connectors and plug it right in, and just plugs in right here. So the charge time would be seven to 11 hours, depending on the sunlight, the size of the panel, you know, there's variables there. So charging's easy. And you know, if you did have to charge it off a generator, you could do that too with the 110 volt cord, not a problem. Also comes with a nice instruction manual, which, you know, we'd expect that, but it's a nice one, got a lot of information in there. Easy to read, easy to go through, understand it. Not tiny little print either where you can't read it. It's designed to be read, designed to be used if you need to use it. So that's the ARC-5, that's how you charge it, and the functionality. So it works great. Now, what can you run off an ARC-5, or what can it power up? Well. You know, a lot of that's going to be what you, depending on what you have around your house, what your imagination is, what type of things you need to run or be charged. But I have these light panels, charges these up, these plug in with a USB cord, charges them right up, no problem. Works great. You can charge up, you know, I have two of them, charge them both up at the same time. So it looks almost like an iPad or something, but it's a light panel. And I also use this Roadcaster Pro. We're doing podcasts. And so this is done, I've used the ARC-5 to power up a podcast, or actually two podcasts, the entire episodes. Doesn't even phase the ARC-5. 
doesn't even use any power. It's not even a blip. So the Roadcaster doesn't use a lot of power. But what's nice is it really makes it portable. I could do a podcast anywhere without any power and just use this, which I'm going to be doing it soon enough. I'm going to be trying some different things. I've done it already, but I like it. I can just plug it right into it. In fact, I was on a Zoom meeting the other day. I wanted to make sure my laptop had power. I was on the Zoom, me Zoom meeting for about two hours. I had it plugged into here because where I was at doing it, that's what I needed. Worked great. Trickle charger. So I use this, this trickle charger to charge up the battery on my ATV the other day. Let it run for about eight hours. And while it was plugged into the ARC-5, I also had the DeWalt charger for a 20 volt battery plugged in and charged up a couple different batteries while it was running the trickle charger. Didn't phase it, didn't make any noise, didn't hum, didn't get hot, didn't get warm, nothing. Just sat there and worked. It was really cool and it was handy because I really didn't want to get an extension cord for where my ATV was at. It would be a pain to do it. Laptop, you know, of course it's going to power that up. You know, laptops have a battery and it, so it's basically just charging the battery, but no problem. It just runs it. Like I said, I did a Zoom meeting on a laptop. Worked great. So those are some of the things that I've tried plugging into it. I've just been doing different things around the house, around the business, just plugging it in, trying it out. You know, and, and some things aren't going to work. Like I have a skill saw, plugged it in just for the heck of it. Didn't work. You know, just too much power, draw too much power. But it didn't make this go into reset mode or anything, which that's what it does. If it's too much, it just shuts it down and it just resets. It's not a big deal. You don't break it. So it wouldn't do that. So there's going to be some things that's just not going to run. It's not designed to run everything. Like let's say you need a CPAP machine. You're going to be out camping for a few days in your RV. This will run a CPAP machine for three days. That's pretty handy, isn't it? You know, it'll run a TV set for seven hours. A TV set, a flat screen TV for seven hours. So it'll run different things, lights. You know, if you're in a situation where your power's out at home, you could plug in a Wi-Fi router to this and get internet access while you also have some, light, or some lights plugged into it. So you can see what you're doing. And then of course it has a flashlight on the front of it. You know, so you got a nice LED light there. So you can use it to light things up and keep your devices charged. You know, if your power goes out, you want to know what's happening. You know, you want to talk to someone, your battery on your phone's going dead, you just charge it up. Or your tablet, if you got internet, you're using a tablet, you can go online, watch Netflix, keep yourself amused for a few hours while the power's out before it comes back on. So the Energizer Arc 5 is an awesome product. And I do sell these, and there's going to be a link in this video at the bottom to a sales page where you can get more information about it. Also with my toll-free number where you can give me a call if you have any questions. So it's available, and this thing's great, and it outperforms the competition. Goal Zero and Jackery. This thing is awesome. So check it out. Do a little more research on it. See what you think of it, and then think about how you can use it. The different ways you could use it if your power goes out, if you're camping, fishing, RVing, hiking, just going out for the day, you know, you're going for a drive with the kids, you're going to the beach. What do you need to power up? What do you need to charge? So it's great. Nice little power center with all the USB ports on it. Everybody can plug their phone into it, have several phones charging at one time. So I think you get the picture here. Great product, very useful. So hey, check it out. And this is Eric Stark with Radio Arizona RV, and it's also on the website at RadioArizonaRV.com, ArizonaRVPartsCenter.com, and there'll be a link to it in the, in the bottom of this video. So thank you very much for watching.